The games industry can seem like a very greedy place at times with microtransactions and loot boxes and all that horrible kind of thing. So imagine if you will, you're making a game and you don't actually want to be a greedy, greedy bastard. Well, that's what this one guy tried to do and apparently he got fired for it. In a recent episode of the Round Table podcast by fellow YouTuber Bear Taffy, it was claimed that Plants vs Zombies creator George Fan was fired for objecting to pay to win being implemented in the sequel. The story was shared by another game developer, Edmund McMillan, who is best known for developing the games Super Meat Boy and The Binding of Isaac. McMillan, who was a guest on the Roundtable podcast, is apparently a friend of former PopCap Games developer George Fan. McMillan said that Fan was headhunted by game development studio PopCap Games after his game in San Aquarium took off in popularity. Fan's first project at PopCap was the tower defense game Plants vs Zombies, which went on to receive critical acclaim and multiple awards. Following the commercial and critical success of Plants vs Zombies, EA announced they had acquired PopCut Games for $650 million and work on a sequel started in earnest. But this is when McMillan's story starts to get interesting. Once work began on Plants vs Zombies 2, which was a free-to-play mobile exclusive, McMillan says they wanted to put pay-to-win mechanics in the game. McMillan said, quote, they're like, hey, you know, let's make a sequel. They started the sequel and they're like, we're gonna put it on mobile and we're gonna do this pay to win thing. To which Fan responded, quote, um, I don't know, that's not a good idea. I don't really want to do that with my game. McMullen went on to say, and then they said, you're fired. Like Alan Sugar thing, isn't it? You're fired. Or Donald, Donald Trump, uh, uh, if you're in America. If, if you're in America, then it's Donald Trump. Okay. Does Donald Trump still do it now? Is it still on? What happens when the leader of The Apprentice becomes the president? Like, if Alan Sugar was the Prime Minister, who would do The Apprentice? So Fan was strictly opposed to the idea of a pay to win, and he objected to any sort of microtransactions being implemented in his game. But according to McMillan, EA fired Fan, and they went ahead with the microtransactions anyway. What's also interesting to note is that around the same period in 2012, EA laid off 50 other PopCap employees and shifted the studio's focus towards developing free-to-play and mobile games for the casual market. Plants vs Zombies 2 was released in August 2013 and has since been downloaded over 15 million times making it EA's most successful mobile game ever. Since his firing, Fan has gone back to being an indie developer and he is now working on a new game called Octageddon, which is meant to release pretty soon. But after this story started to make the rounds on the internet, Alan Murray, former employee of PopCut Games and former producer of Plants vs Zombies 2, tweeted the following. Wow. Hey, Edmund McMillan, I was a producer of Plants vs Zombies 2, and that story was not even close to the truth. It's a bummer that something false like this came out secondhand. I'm happy to chat offline. McMillan then replied to Murray saying, quote, I'm pretty sure what I said was something close to the truth. But again, I wasn't there. I'm hoping George gets to clear things up soon. Now, this is a story that's kind of ongoing at the moment, and by the time you see this video, it could very well be that George Fan has spoke out directly. This has all happened through Edmund McMullen's words, but it happened to George Fan. George Fan allegedly, according to like Jason Schreier and other sources, is gonna be making a response soon. So it could already have broken by now. Oh, now I must preface what I'm about to say as allegedly, if this is true, and you know, according to these sources, you know, if this is actually true. And this guy, George Fan, did actually um, get fired for sticking to his principles and not being a greedy bastard then that makes this guy a hero, doesn't it? In, in this day and age, in, in this industry, there's so much greed going about. Like, for a game developer to do this and to stand up against the greed of the publisher and to say, no, hang on a minute, this game doesn't need microtransactions. You're not doing this with my game. Well, I'm not gonna be a part of this if you're doing this with my game. So they fire him. However much of that is true, we don't know. But if that is true, he is a hero in my eyes. You can imagine the kind of dile dilemma that people are faced with in this situation. Do you stick to your principles or do you just you know, go along with the trend and take the money? This guy wasn't standing for it. He said, he said no. And uh, this is why, like, fair play. If this is true, George Fan. I am a fan of George Fan. Can I say that? I'm George Fan fan. I'm a big fan, dude. Honestly, well done. Congratulations. Uh, you you were the cure to this rampant greed and bullshit that's going through this industry right now. I will definitely be buying that game of yours if this turns out to be true, I've got to say that. Guess the kind of sad part of the story is the fact that George Fan was fired and then this game still went on to be EA's most successful mobile game. But still, a martyr's death, George. <laughs> 
One thing that really surprised me was this is like one of the first times I've seen a story like this. You'd think that a lot of developers making these games and making these ideas, they get so attached to it, they work on it for years and stuff. Then all of a sudden a publisher comes out and says, we need to do this. I'm surprised there's not been a lot more people saying like, no, this is like my baby, this is like my thing. Oh. Maybe George Pham is a lot happier now because he's made that decision and decided to not go against the greed. More people should be doing this in my eyes, but that's easy for me to say, given that it's not always that easy. But being the artist he is, he's probably a lot happier to work on a game he's got complete creative control over and he can be proud of and he can say, all this is me. That's probably worth a lot more to him than whatever high salary he would have got just towing the line for big companies. And I'm sure a lot of indie developers would agree that that statement seems a lot more satisfying, you know? How coincidental that this is EA as well. I mean, if, any, if anybody, you, you wouldn't expect it to be EA, now would you? Yeah. EA being the greedy bastards in this sort of equation. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> George Pham, that's a name to remember. He's a hero, a martyr, he's our savior. Let us know what you think about this story down in the comments below. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. There's another video for you to watch there on your screen. Support us on Patreon if you're awesome. We'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye for now.